What's up everyone, welcome back. Moving on to the next video, we're now gonna talk about how to find the sample size dealing with proportions. So if you remember, we did a video on this when we were dealing with means, and we got this formula over here. So if you didn't watch that video where I talked about how to find the sample size to reduce the margin of error given a certain margin of error, highly recommend you do before watching this one because in that video, I go into more detail about how to rearrange stuff and how to isolate for this N, et cetera, et cetera. You could think of this video as like a continuation of that one. But now we're gonna be dealing with proportions. So with the sample mean, if you remember, this was the formula that we came up with. It was basically the Z score squared, population standard deviation squared, all over the margin of error squared. But in the previous video with proportions, remember, population standard deviation we're not really dealing with anymore. What we're dealing with, what we input instead was the square root of the proportion times one minus the proportion. So that's gonna be squared as well. Basically, if you take the confidence interval for a proportion, just the general format that I went over, and you isolate for that n, this is what you would get here. And notice that we have a square root squared. And whenever you're taking something in a square root and then squaring it, it's just equal to whatever's inside that square root. So we could actually get rid of this two here and get rid of this square root. And we would just be left with P times one minus P. It's a lot easier to show it that way. Now I wanna make a note on this P over here. If you remember what that is, is the sample proportion from the previous video. Problem is, is that we're looking for a specific sample size. So we can't be really using a sample proportion if we're looking for a sample size to have for a certain margin of error. So this P over here in this specific formula, I'm actually gonna put like a P star. What it is when you're dealing with this formula is an estimate of the population proportion usually from previous data. It doesn't have to be, but I'm just gonna write that. From previous data, from previous history. Right, so you're, usually you're gonna be given some kind of estimate of the population proportion from previous experience, and that's what you input here. This is not gonna be the sample proportion like it is in the confidence interval. Now, if you're not given this, if you're not given an estimate, then just let P star equal 0.5. The reason why is because 0.5, if you plug in 0.5 times 1 minus 0.5, this bracket is going to be as big as it can be. It's actually going to equal 0.25, right? And that's the largest number you could have there. And so it's going to give you the largest sample size you have to get in order to have a certain margin of error, right? But don't worry about the technicals of that. Just remember, this is going to be the estimate of the population proportion from previous history. If you're not given an estimate, then just use 0.5 to plug in over there. So let's do an example here. So from everyone who has shopped at a sneaker store last year, 36% have bought Nike. If you're estimating the proportion for this year, of people who have bought Nike, how big of a sample size do you need for the margin of error of a 95% confidence interval to be plus or minus 0 0.08? So, we're gonna be using that formula that I introduced, Z alpha over two squared times P times one minus P, actually P star times one minus P star, right? The estimate for the population proportion over the margin of error squared. So first thing, alpha, it's equal to one minus the confidence percentage, 0.95 which would be 0.05. So that means alpha over two is gonna be 0.025. And so this here 
is going to be Z of 0 0.025. So you got to look up on a normal distribution uh, this over here, where this area to the right is 0 0.025. So the area to the left of that Z score is going to be 0.975. And the, um, the Z score is 1.96. So N is going to be 1.96 squared. Now, the uh, estimate for the population proportion, we can use last year's proportion. So notice that 36% bought Nike last year in the store out of everyone that shopped. So we would input 0 0.36. Remember, this always has to be decimals. So if they give you a percentage, change it to decimals. So this would be 0 0.36, 1 minus 0 0.36, right? So that's that bracket right there. And we want the margin of error to be 0 0.08. So this would be 0 0.08 squared. And when you do all of that in the calculator, you'd get 138 point something, and you always want to round up. I mentioned that in the um, previous video when we were dealing with population means. You always want to round up for this n value, right, in order to get at least that margin of error. You always want it at least, so that's why you want to round up. So 139 is the answer. That's how big of a sample you need for the margin of error of a 95% confidence interval to be 0 0.08.